finally it. If I need a big switch, I need a big change, and I need something that I can't turn back from, that I have to sit there and learn to love myself all over again. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, she's Priceless, and I'm back here with another video. And today I'm gonna talk to y'all about being bald-headed. Cause I'm bald-headed now. I ain't got no hair. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit of hair, but yeah. So if you haven't noticed your girl Big Chop, and if you wanna see my Big Chop, go to my last video. I just wanna talk to y'all about um, everything you need to know before you Big Chop, kinda why I Big Chopped, um, how I feel after I Big Chopped, and um, yeah. So we're just gonna hop right on into it. So the first thing you need to know about Big Chopping and prepare yourself before you Big Chop is Big Chopping. <laughs> is getting okay with the idea of you not having hair or a lot of hair or if you're used to like your ears being everything just if you're just used to a lot of hair you just gotta get get over the fact that you're not about to have any hair um so what i did i was i just kept telling everybody else cutting my hair off they kept telling me no you're not you're not gonna do it what are you talking about you're not about to do it girl whatever and i was like okay i'm gonna cut my hair off and like I'm very like passive aggressive and I make like jokes about things that are like aren't funny. Not like not aren't funny, but like about my life that are, you know, not the best. So I was just like, yeah, um, everything in my life is falling apart, so yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair off. And people were just like, Girl, shut up. <laughs> Next. And I just kept saying that for like a month. And then um once I was ready to take them braids out. I just cut it out. I really could have just been dramatic and, you know, just cut the braids out, but my hair probably would have been very um, messed up. So I just took my braids out and then I cut all that hair off. And yeah, so you have to get, that's the first thing I would say you need to get okay with. Like, get used to just telling yourself that you're about to have no hair. Like, have not have a lot of hair. Like, just get okay with the feeling of you not having hair because you had to it's a mental thing it's really a mental thing like y'all saw in the video like i thought i was gonna be boohoo crying but i wasn't like say i had woke up one day and i was like, I'm gonna cut my hair off i probably would have been like oh my god <laughs> but no like i just cut it <laughs> i was like snip snip pal so um yeah that's probably the first thing the second thing you need to realize is that you're gonna feel ugly some days i'm ugly and i'm proud And that's okay. Um, after I big chopped, I was like, the next morning I woke up and I was like, wow, I'm really bald headed out here. I really ain't got no hair out yet. Wow, what am I about to do to my head? All right, I'm gonna do finger waves. And then I figured out, oh, that's gonna be nothing. I was like, I had all these ideas about what I was gonna do with my hair and they just weren't working and I just felt ugly, sad, I just wanted my hair back. But um, I was like, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. You're gonna have to wait for that to grow back, sweetie. Like, it's gone, baby. Um, so yeah, it just kind of has to get used to it. I guess the third thing I would say is like, have a plan. Have a plan for what you want to do to your hair. Because I was set on, yeah, I'm gonna cut my hair off. I'm gonna do finger waves. Forgetting that I have 4C, 4C hair, nigga from Wakanda. Like, that shit. It don't slick down like no 3A, 3B. It does not slick down. Like so I thought I could just put a bunch of gel on it and it was just gonna swoop, swoop, swoop. No ma'am. No ma'am. My hair was not doing that. And I was so upset. I was like, yeah, I had all these ideas for my hair. I was like, I'm gonna do finger waves, I'm gonna suck my hair down. I didn't realize I had to still go section by section with my hair, even though like I had like less than an inch of it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I hate this. I'm about to shave it all off, but I didn't have clippers. So I didn't want to do it with scissors and then just have like this patchy mess in my head. So have a plan. Have a plan, y'all. <laughs> um and get be okay like i think another thing that like kind of helped me was watching big chop videos so i was just i was really preparing myself for it like preparing myself for this monumental thing that i was gonna do so the fourth thing i would say is figure out why you're doing it what figure out your why <laughs> figure out your why why are you big chopping what are you going to gain what is this new journey going to be for you like for me I was like, I need to let go. 
I need to let go of everything that is wrong with me. Everything that is going wrong in my life, I need a big switch, I need a big change, and I need something that I can't turn back from, that I have to sit there and learn to love myself all over again. And for me, cutting my hair off was that. I am learning to love myself all over again. And um, I'm recovering, I'm healing, I'm learning to forgive. Like I said, when I cut my hair, I was just very, I was just in a very hurt, angry place. And um, now I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm seeing the transformation. I'm seeing the transformation that I wanted to see, that I was hoping I would see. I'm seeing it. Um, I'm learning to love myself and I'm learning to be okay and to let go and to forgive all things that were not going well, going right in my life. Forgive those that wronged me. Forgive myself for um, things that are out of my control. And when you do that, you are you are at peace. You are beginning to be at peace. And for me, that was really important. So um, I stopped looking at myself as um, what is going with me? What is why is everything going wrong? Yada yada yada. And started looking at what is God trying to show me? Um, what is this journey about to be? What is this journey about to be about? So yeah, I kind of had to just redo all of that. Um, well, that's just solid as a rock. I guess the fifth and final thing I would say is just trust the process. Trust whatever you're going through. Trust God. Trust that everything is going to be okay. It's okay to want to wake up and put a wig on. It's okay to go get protective stylings. I was doing protective stylings before I had short hair. I had to do I was doing protective stylings when I had a lot of hair. And it's okay to want to do that. Don't don't pressure. Don't let anyone pressure you into saying how you should be. Oh, you just cut your hair off because um, you cut your hair off just to wear wigs. Like, nigga, it's cold outside. <laughs> oh, my ear is cold. Like, this is your journey and don't let anyone shape the narrative. Like, you shape the narrative. Um, and don't forget that. Like, can't nobody tell you how to live your life. Can't nobody tell you how to wear your hair. Can't nobody tell you what you're supposed to be feeling. Because this is you. This is real. This is life. And this is, we are on our own journeys. We're on our own paths to happiness, to peace. And can't nobody control. What are these bugs doing in here? Somebody got their window open and I don't appreciate it. It's not me because I don't know how to open my window. But, um, yeah, just appreciate the journey. Um, don't let anybody <laughs> tell you anything. Um, people are gonna, people are gonna say a whole lot. People are gonna be like, um, like, I got, I had to, I had to take a moment. I got real mad. I had to go on Twitter. I was like, stop telling me I need to do something with my hair. I just cut it off. Yada, yada, yada. Like, I got really angry. Like, people really have a problem with 4C hair. And um, if I wanted to wear my fro out there, like, oh, you need to do something with that. Or if I slicked it down and it was waves in it, oh, you need to, you need to fix this. Like, I got so upset and I real had to realize that black people hate for us here. We hate to see it. And that's kind of me learning to re-love my hair and re-love myself and appreciate it even in its short texture. So yeah, like just know that you are that bitch, period. Just know that you are you are still beautiful, you are still amazing, you are still confident, and know that it's gonna be okay. And if you are thinking about big chopping, just do it. Just do it because when I tell you you will feel like such a stronger woman, you will feel you will you are literally I really feel born again. I really do. Even though some bad stuff has still been happening to me, like I got um scammed and got my phone stolen. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. It's my old one. Not your girl still rocking eleven. But um, yeah, people don't have the best intentions out for you, and I, that's something I have to learn. And I have to stop being nice. Stop being so. I have to stop being nice to the wrong ones. I have to stop being nice. I have to stop being nice to the wrong people. But um, yeah. So just just kind of reflect and understand why you're doing what you're doing. 
Um, and if you are thinking about big chopping it, I'm telling you, do it, girl. Just do it. Just do it. And um, yeah. So let me know, comment below if you big chopped, um, how it was for you, what, what you were feeling, advice for others. And um, yeah, let's do this journey together. And I'm gonna show y'all, take y'all on my um, natural hair care, natural journey, um, growing my hair back out. Because I feel like this is like, this is, this is the start, but this is where the flower, like the seed has been planted and like the flower is about to bloom. I'm telling y'all something big is about to happen in my life, something monumental, something like my life is about to change. I really feel it in my spirit. Like I tell y'all, I'm, I'm psychic and I really, something has really been telling me like this is it. That the next six months is about to be it. Like something is big is about to happen in your life and it's just like what I've been waiting for. So yeah while i'm going through my metamorphosis my change and all of that um i encourage you to do the same i encourage you to look within and i encourage you to love yourself unconditionally know that you are that bitch know that you're that bitch with long hair you that bitch with short hair you that bitch bald headed you are that bitch period you are beautiful you are confident and you are a strong black woman don't let nobody tell you different because you are um yeah, so that's all for this video. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe as always. And peace out, being gracious spices. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.